Shalom, I will give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone for teaching me this truth and sincerity. Salutation to the hopeful elect that spread throughout the four corners of the earth. Right, so the title of this lesson will be A Huge Nuclear Fire is Coming to Babylon, right? And when now referring to Babylon, I'm talking about America, right? Um, a huge nuclear fire is coming to Babylon, it's, you know. Now, Yamash yeah, Shah, he's just, you know, he's prepping, you know, he's prepping the battlefield. He's prepping, he's prepping the, um, you know, he's directing, you know, the movie. You know, eventually, you know, there's, you hear rumors, you hear rumors, rumors of wars. You, know, you hear a lot of things happening, right? But we already know that all this is happening with all, all all of this that is happening is ultimately is going to lead to the destruction of America, right? Ultimately, uh, because America has been a great, um, the scripture says that um, Babylon been a great, you know, a great um, kindle, a great, um, I don't have to look it up, but it speaks about America being like just in a great, like a great, um, you know, let's see, I might look it up too. But ultimately, golden cup, yes, a golden, a golden cup, that's what I was trying to get to. Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon. Babylon has been a golden cup in the, in the Lord's Yahweh hand that made all the earth drunken. Right. The nation, and you continue to read, the nation have drunken out her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right. So America has that golden cup, you know, in the wine referring to her philosophies, you know, in her, um, and the philosophies in the doctrine American puts, right. Um, you had a VP, the vice president, who trying to went, who trying to go to Nigeria, I believe, or one of the African countries, and trying to push that, um, you know, happy agenda, that um, um, that ABC um, agenda to the um, to the people um, in Africa, right? And they wouldn't, do, and you know, the nations are, you know, this is why you seeing a lot of nations trying to join up with Brits, right? Um, but Brits stand for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. You, you've seen a lot of nations trying to apply for Brits because they have, you know, they saying who the who's the real, who's the true whore is. They seen they seen, you know, America shame has been seen, right? Um, across the whole world, right? And you this you see a lot of nations, you know, not messing with the um dollars, right? Not messing with American dollars anymore. So um ultimately you know, it's prophesied that uh, America will be burnt by nuclear, uh, by nuclear, it be, will, you know, go up in a nuclear fire, right? This, in this image right here, um, you know, you can imagine, you can, you know, you can see it or you can envision America being, you know, all 50 square, 50 miles, 50 million or whatever square miles of America being burnt up and looking like this, right? Um, you know, so this is what we constantly, 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 constantly let hope for, right? Constantly pray for that this place be destroyed. You know, we sigh and cry every single day that this place be destroyed, right? So, you know, um, Lord will, you know, we'll be able to see that. So, um, you know. Because America is a, is a vet scene, right? It's, it's nothing righteousness about it, right? The air, the food, everything is unrighteousness. You know, you can't, you know, you know, this, uh, this is why people, you know, see, you know, people see America as like, like as stupid, you know, they see the people as stupid, right? Because, you know, this is why when you go to other, you know, everything is always better, but better in America, you know, is known as bitter, the, you know, the name America means bitter, right? So, because America is bitter, it's bitter to, you know, to um, Jacob, right? Because we, we was, we had, this is what, especially the tribe of Judah, 
um, in Native America because it's where we serve our captivity. You know, this is where we serve our slave. You know, it's bitter to us, but to the wicked, it's not bitter, right? It's not bitter because it's they enjoy, you know, especially wicked. E, you know, he 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 is enjoying his kingdom right now. You know, he is enjoying living in his kingdom. So, I'm going to show a clip, um, and then I'm going to bring up some scriptures. Um, right, so I have here, um, so this is an article from Fox News, and it's for educational purposes. Um, this is an article, and it reads, what happens in a nuclear apocalypse, because this is what, you know, ultimately is going to come to America, and it was published February 11th, 2020. So, you know, these people already know what's coming down the drain. They already know, you know, that America, they already know that, you know, a nuclear attack or whatever is coming to this place, right? You know, so I got a little clip and I'm going to play it. So this is why this scripture speaks about that the sun has been darkened, right? Because the um, the when the nuclear, you know, when the nuclear bombs, you know, come down, you know, they gonna create a huge mushroom clouds, right? And they're gonna darken out that out of the sun, right? Um, so I'm continue playing. It. So, you know, ultimately, this is what America, you know, America um, is going to be that it's going to be under a nuclear apocalypse. So, so I'm going to read some of this. It says, since the creation of the atomic bomb, the threat of nuclear war has moved, right? Uh, you know, endless films and books have dealt, have dealt with the nuclear apocalypse and the aftermath, but what would, what would a nuclear apocalypse really look like, right? Because these people who direct these movies and these books and these films, they know that a nuclear... Um, a nuclear bomb is like bringing a piece of the sun to the surface of the Earth for a fraction of a second. And everything was a certain distance would just flash into fire, right? Because if you're in a range, if you're in the range of that nuclear, where that nuclear bomb drops, you know, ultimately you, you know, you're gonna be turned to just ash. You know, you're gonna be turned to just ultimately ash, right? Body, whole body, your whole body is gonna deteriorate. Um, you know, by the smoke, you know, by ultimately by the smoke, by the, you know, the smoke of the um. You know, by the smoke, the debris hitting your skin, right? Yeah, in, Her in Hiroshima, there was a bomb that was 15 kilotons of explosive power, and everything was in a several square miles that just burnt and produced smoke, right? So, you know, those people that was in the, in the range of where that nuclear bomb, that um, I believe it was little boy and fat boy, um, dropped. Um, you know, they all got, um, you know, turned to ashes, right? They all just got turned to dust. Uh, but, so, here he is. I'm probably going to read this, and I'm going to go into the scriptures. But it reads, in the United States... In Russia had a nuclear war today there could be so much smoke that it will produce a nuclear winter right 
um, temperature will get temperatures would get below below freezing in the summertime over land where we try to grow our food. Um, all right. So ultimately, um, if it's such a war between America and Russia, we call the nuclear winter lasting much, much uh, longer. So we know that um, America, uh, Russia is, you know, going to, you know, hit um, uh, Babylon with this, you know, hit Babylon with a nuclear missile. Um, also, Russia allies, you know, you want to hate the um, or or hate Babylon, you know, they're going to shoot their missiles at Babylon as well. So it's all prophesied that this place is going to be destroyed, all right? I'm going to get Revelation 11, 12. So this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 12, and reads, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying to them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. All right, so this is going back to the wisdom of Sodom. Sodom, when um, paraphrase it talks about the strangers of their salvation. So um, they let they will be ascending into cloud. That cloud referring to chariots, right? Um, Yahweh shall chariots, you know, the one that he gonna he gonna bring his chariot to do two things to destroy America and you know her allies and to deliver the elect right and to deliver the elect. Um, thirteen verse in the same hour was there a great earthquake right a great earthquake in the tenth part of the city fell and in the earthquake were slain so that earthquake is referring to the ICBMs you know. The ICBMs, the which stand for intercontinental ballistic missiles, right, coming down on America um, and coming down to um, destroy, you know, the all of you know, all the square miles of America. Uh, the ten, the tenth part of the city fell. I believe America is divided into ten re, uh, region, uh, region, um, tenth region, FEMA. Um, you know, ten FEMA regions. So, you know, ultimately, is referring to that uh, the uh, those cities would never be. You know, they will be destroyed. Ultimately, they won't be able to fight back, um, or they won't be. You know, inhabiting inhabit, right? And, and the earthquake was slain of a, a man seven thousand. So that's seven thousand represent a complete number of you know wicked two thirds of our people wicked. You know, Wiki E, you know, gonna be destroyed, right? And the remnant were frightening and gave glory to the Most High of Heaven, right? Because they let, you know, we, you know, you know, we will have some people that will still be here that will witness the destruction of Babylon, right? Um, but ultimately, they will be um, saved, right? So they will be, you know, the elect, they're gonna be, you know, some, you know, the elect, they will be, you know, Fear because they they looking at you know the destruction of this place right they won't be fear because the place has been destroyed they will be fear because they're you know in it right um, but they will ultimately give glory to the Most High right to Yahweh by Um fourteen verse the second world is past and behold the third world coming quickly All right so the third the second world is referring back to referring back to World War Two and behold the Third world is coming quickly, which third world just means destruction, right? Third world being World War Three, so the second world was a destruction, um, and behold, the third world coming quickly, which is referring to World War Three. Okay, so um, Luke twelve forty nine. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. 
Um, I am come to fend, so I am referring to Yahweh by Shem. All right. Um, and you have some precepts here Matthew chapter 10, 34, verse 39. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace by a sword, which that sword represent again the destruction, right? Um, I am come to set a man at variance against his father. And a daughter against her mother, and a daughter in law against her mother in law. And a man foe should be they of his own household. All right. So, back in Luke chapter 12, verse 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? All right. So, you know, they're going to be, so this, you know, basically, um, you know, World War III is going to pop off before you. I might shock return before Yahweh Yahweh shall return. World War Three is going to already be happening, and you know the nations are going to be showing their missiles against one another and against America, right? So America, you know, is 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 already going to be is that is that going to be in a like in a um in like the whole city might not be like the whole American state. They might not be, you know, might not be on fire, but a portion of America will be on on fire, and the Lord, when y'all watch our return, He gonna bring that ultimate destruction, that ultimate fire to America, right? Um, and that when the elect will be saved, right? Uh, so ultimately. Um, and we suppose ye that I am come to get peace on earth. Um, I tell you, not nay, but rather division, right? So ultimately, that's where you get the um, people will be um, breaking off, right? People will be rising up against the government. You know, you have, you know, mother against, you know, dollars. You know, you know, all these things will bring division, right? Um, so it's gonna be a bunch of division division, you know, on earth. All right, so let me jump from here to Jeremiah fifty and fourteen. Jeremiah 50, 14, Reese. Um, so I'm going to start. I mean, this I get. Um, I'm going to start because this is ultimately referring to um, your mother should be a be sort of fine and she that bear you should be a, which you're referring to Great Britain because the Great Britain burnt you know America America came out of Great Britain right um, behold the innermost of the nation should be a wilderness a dry land and a desert right because America ultimately going to look like a desert because they're going to be discouraged by Isaac Um uh, 13 verse, because of the wrath, which wrath is referring to anger of the, the his indignation, his righteous anger of the Lord Yahweh, it shall be, it should not be inhabited. 
but it should be holy, holy, holy desolate. Um, everyone that goes goes by that blind should be astonished and hiss at her place, right? Um, so America is gonna look like a desert, and you know, no one is gonna, um, no one's gonna be dealing with, um, um, America, right? They're gonna be, you know, they're gonna be ultimately, um, uh, mocking America. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, the scripture that speaks about the Let's figure that first about how the um, ship, the ship, or the ship um, breakers are the, uh, I forget how you uh, paraphrase it, but it seems that it seems it's, 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 it's about how there will be, you know, merchants licking, uh, licking upon. Spirit, hopefully, the spirit um, is bringing it back to me. I'm going to move on. Um, if the spirit bringing it back to the, bring it back to me, then I will, um, I will read it. Um, but um, so again, fourteen verse. But put your yourself in array against Babylon round about right, which referring to the um, I see I'm sorry. Um, missiles, all ye that bend the bow, right? So all the nations that have the Asimbions, right? All the nations that have nuclear capabilities shoot at her, which referring to Babylon. Spare no arrows, right? Spare no missiles. You no, know, ultimately, all the nation that is against all the nation that have their bows, you know, all the nation that have Asimbions, missiles, they will ultimately shoot at Babylon, and they will, you no, know, they will not, they will shoot all their missiles at Babylon, right? They will shoot all their I see beams like Babylon, they will not spare any, you know, they will spare any arrows, they will not spare any missiles, for she has sinned against the Lord, Yahweh, right, because America, you know, it has been, uh, has been committed spiritual for fornication, right, so I have here, who is the daughter of Babylon, right, and here, America, the daughter of Babylon, deals with the prophetic future of the United States of America, right, so these, you know, they already know who the dollar so the dollar Babylon, you know, there's evidence of the dollar Babylon referring to America. Um, you can do a quick Google search, so um Revelation. So I'm going to jump from here to Revelation 18. So it was the World Nation 18, okay. Um, yeah. 
So Revelation 18, 1, and the title here is Babylon is Fallen. Um, and reads, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having a great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and it becomes the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right, so America is that nation that have, you know, polluted the polluted its people, you know, with the different doctrines. Again, going back to the different um, doctrines, the different, um, you know, the different, you know, you know, there's different spirits. You have your, your homo spirit. You have your, you know, your, your, um, Delt angel spirit, you know, there's different different things, you know. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, right? You know, back to the wine we're referring to doctrine. Um, the wrath of her fornication referring to a spiritual um, fornication magic. Move that up. Um, fornication, which go back to the pornea. Greek. Let's see. Yeah, play it. Strong's G forty two oh two. Parnaya. 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 Right. Fornication, um, the worship. Metaphor the worship of idols, um, of the defilement of idolatry. Yeah, because America they pushes um by all and they pushes they push, you know, the different other gods, right? You know, this is where all the nations can come to America and worship at different gods. You know, you have Buddha, you have Islam, you have you know, all the different gods in America, right? Um, you know, you have this country is um, the scripture speaks about uh, this country being the um, peace for other um, nations. Um, see, get it. So, you know, uh, you know, ultimately, yeah, but ultimately, um, I can't find a piece up right now, but ultimately, you know, America is like a boiling pot. I think that the America, so America, Babylon is a boiling pot for all these different um, God's right. America is, is a is a boiling pot. This is where you can come and worship your different gods, right? Um.
uh, America is is, a, is like is like a boiling pot. Um, you can just come and worship and and worship, you know, the different the different gods, right? America it doesn't promote Christianity like you say. They, they, you know, that's a lie. That's the wonders of the devil, right? Um, we can, he, you know, he tell you that he all about Christianity. He all about worship God, but the God he's worshiping is his God. You know, it's not the God of Jacob, um, Abraham, and Isaac. You know, it's his God. You know, a God that can't, you know, save him out of his troubles. You know, a God that he that one day, ultimately Yahweh Shai, because there's there's a spiritual demon, um, Satan, and ultimately Yahweh Shai he controls both sides. He controls both evil and good. Um, so, thirteen, thir the third verse: For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of earth have committed for fornication with her. Right. So the kings, which are referring to the other nations, have committed fornication, the spiritual form of fornication, because they. I'll take on the philosophies, the doctrines of America, right? And the merchants of the earth are west rich through the abundance of her delicacies, right? Because America is ultimately a big, you know, a big trading market, a big, you know, a big place where you can, you know, America is a big importer, right? They're not an exporter. They are a big importer, importer of goods, right? So people, you know, ultimately get rich, um, from importing, because it's better for you to, um, you know, you get you get rich off of um, exporting. You know, you get more rich off of exporting than you get off importing. Um, um, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues." Right. So this is referring to the peoples are referring to the um elect, right? The chosen people and ultimately the elect will come out of Babylon, right? They will come, they will spiritually come out of Babylon. Um they will spiritually just, you know, um spiritually come out of Babylon some way and somehow um they will come out of come out of, come out of Babylon and they will partake of her um sins we're going back to her uh to her judgment. Mm. Um, as we continue reading, for her sins have re reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities, right? Because America, you know, doesn't, they blasphemy against Yahweh Shai. You know, when you have your, you know, if you have your image, of who you think Yahweh Shanshah look like. If you promoting that Yahweh Shanshah is wet, white and that his people or the Israelites back then was white, you know, you committed all types of, you know, your, your, you know, the America is bad for me against the name of, you know, the, yeah, of the name of the Mosai. Um, you know, they saying that Yahweh Shanshah's name is, you know, Jesus, Jesus, um, Jesus Christos. You know, they send all the different things um, against. So the Most High has to remember, you know, all what America promotes. You know, and ultimately Yahweh Shai is going to come um, and uh, revenge, uh, bring ven vengeance to um, this in America. So six verse, reward her even as she rewarded you, right? So reward reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she had filled fell to her double. So she gonna get double judgment. You know she gonna Babylon Americans are gonna get you know plagues. You know they are gonna get famine. You know they gonna get all types of plagues. You know. So this place will be destroyed by Osiris and its place in the chariots as well. So, um, and I wanted to get another. Um, 
so this is going to be um, flaming for Babylon. So the, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and have deliciously with her shall be, be well her and limit for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, right? So the kings are referring to the other nations that used to, you know, mess with Babylon, used to, you know, work with Babylon, used to do all the trading with Babylon. When they see, because they were going to see Babylon being the story, going to be all over TV, all the news, everything. Everyone will see Babylon being historic, so ultimately, um, they gonna feel bad, right? They gonna limit for her, right? You know. Standing afar off for the fear of the torment, saying, "Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is a ju that judgment come right, because you are gonna only take one hour for Yahweh to destroy America and for everything to be wiped off, to, for this whole place to look like." Right, to like nothing. Right, eleven verse. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man to buy her merchandise anymore. Right, so no man is gonna be, you know, there. You don't, you know, there gonna be nothing that says made in America. Right, nothing that says made in America. Um, you know, no one is gonna be doing. There gonna be no trading, you know, trading because this place is gonna be ultimately destroyed. So the merchant, the merchants of these things which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping, wailing. Right. So, and the other nations, you know, they don't think they think they're gonna get back. They're gonna get in power once America get destroyed. But ultimately, they're not. It's gonna be true after America get destroyed. You know, the kingdom that will be raised up in power will be um, the king, the kingdom of Israel. Right. Four. Let's see. Behold, I have created this with the coals and the fire, right? So the smells are referring to the, you know, the one that make these missiles, the one that, you know, put together all these different parts, the different, um, the, the engineers, you know, that put together this missiles, the missiles, these ice and beams, sorry, um, so that blow the coals and the fire and the, and that bring you forth an instrument for his work and to have created the wasters to destroy, right? So this wasters is referring to the ice and beams. So this is where you get your oppenheimers, right? So oppenheimer done World War II, um, Lieutenant General Leslie Groves Jr. appoints physics J. Robert Oppenheimer to work on the top secret Manhattan Project. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer and a team of scientists spend years developing and designing the atomic bomb that were come to fruition on July 16, 1945 at the when it's the world's first nuclear explosion uh, for changing the current course of history. So, you know, during that, that was the first nuclear, so America is going to be a second nuclear explosion in this modern history. America will be a second nuclear um, explosion, right? Um, so, again, the Oppenheimer is referring to our, you know, these films are referring to people that, the scientists that developed, the, developed these um, missiles. I'm going to go from here to Revelation 6 and 12. Revelation 6 and 12, let me read. So Revelation 6 and 12 reads, And I beheld, so the sixth cell terror, terror, and I beheld when he had he had opened the sixth sixth cell, and lo, there was a great earthquake, 
the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, right? So that great earthquake is referring to the icy films that would be ultimately, you know, when they, you know, when they hit America, it's going to be, it's going to feel like an earthquake, right? It's going to feel like a, because it's just imagine like 30 or 40, or you get hit by millions um, or thousands of missiles, right? It's going to feel like a, you know, gigantic earthquake, right? So that's where you get that great earthquake. And the sun became as black, right? So a earthquake, a normal earthquake don't make the sun um, become black, right? When, we, when you just, when these, you know, when you can take, for example, San Andreas, right? I'm not San Andreas, um, San Francisco, right? Um, and Los Angeles, right? You know, when they have the different earthquakes, you know, the sun don't become black. So ultimately, this is a parabolic, which is referring to um, icy beams. So when the icy beams hit this place, a big mushroom cloud is going to come up and you know, ultimately darken out the sun, right? So the sun become as black as sackcloth of hair, hair, and the moon become as blood. Okay. So I'm going to get a precept. Um, Isaiah 24 and 50. Isaiah 24 and 20 slack. So it reads, The earth shall reel to grow like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall, fall and not rise again. Right? So, again, the earth is going to reel to and fro like a drunkard, but they're referring to the icy bim, so it's going to be, you know, the different nations that are going to be showing their icy bims at one another, right? Um, so the earth is gonna be, you know, gonna be like a, a that's where you get a great earthquake in Revelation the sixth chapter. Mm, so I'm gonna continue reading. Thirteen verse, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, right? Even as the fig tree casts her ultimate fizz, so going back to the warheads, right? The nuclear warheads. So ultimately, John the Revelator, he, he saw a vision of the um, of warheads, you know, coming down from heaven, right? Um, so even as a fig tree casts, casts her ultimate fizz when she is shaken of a mighty wind, right? So when the icy beams come down, you know, the warheads, is going to, the warheads are going to come out of the icy beams because the, ice, the, the missiles are just like a body. You know, when the when the when the when the um actually when the head of the missile open, you know, the, those are warheads and the warheads is gonna make that ultimate it's gonna make that um ultimate is it gonna be the like it's gonna make the ultimate sting um on this planet, right? It's gonna be the ultimate sting um on this um you know on the on America. Um so when she is shaking up a mighty wind, it was referring to the ice beams. Right. So my two when you're when you're going to five spin, so I'm going to get another piece up. I'm gonna get after you try to twenty four. Matthew 24 and 29 reads, um, The glorious return, meeting immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not get her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. All right. So again, they're going back to you know, um, the Ozzy Bims. That will... Um, the warhead that will fall out of the um, heaven, right? Um, 
um, 14 verse. And the heaven departed as a scroll, which we're referring going again back to the merch room clouds, sorry. Um going back to the merch room clouds. Um, you know, the heaven is gonna depart as a scroll, right? Uh, actually, I gotta hear. Oh my right here. So right here. So so this is the mushroom cloud, cloud that the Ospins are going to create. And when it's, when it is rolled together, never marching out and removed out of the place, right? So, you know, this destruction by the Ospins is going to cause, you know, these mountains, you know, um, the different mountain, mountains, you know, the Americans have, you know, Mount, you know, Mount, um, have the different mountains, um, um, uh, let me see, I forget, um, Mount Rushmore, I believe, um, uh, and islands were moved out of their places. Um, so islands, yeah, so ultimately, you know, um, because this, you know, the down there when this when they shoot their missiles, they're going to aim at every country, at every um, land that has an American flag, right? So possibly, you know, Hawaii is going to get hit. Um, you know, the different other country, Puerto Rico is going to get hit. So, um, uh, fifteen verse in the kings of the earth. And the great man, and the rich man, and the, the chief captains, and the mighty man, and every bond man, and every free man, hid themselves in the dance of the in, in the rocks of the mountains. Right. So as we're going back to their bunkers, you know, um, especially the rich top elite, rich, the top rich elites, you know, they don't think they can hide in their bunkers um, to flee from this destruction. Right. But you know. Um, they gonna get they you know they gonna get there you know if they if they if the Austin Bills don't get them you know Yahweh Shah he gonna get them by the chariots and they can have the chariots because those chariots they can you know go through they can go through anything they can go through you know the those chariots coming from heaven they come in front of the spiritual realm so if, um you know those chariots they can come they can go into water water they can come do the different you know they can do a whole lot of things that you know that normal normal um vessel way normal normal plane can't do right so so and they and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb right so wrath of the lamb referring to Yahweh Shah when he returned um he's gonna be like a roaring lion for the great his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand no one. You know, the um the only the only people who will be saved out of that great wrath will be the elect. Um so I'm gonna give Zephaniah twenty four. Zephaniah one and fourteen it reads: The great day of the Lord Yahweh is near, is near, and hastens greatly. Even in the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, and a day of trouble and distress. A day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, right? So that day is a day of just judgment on this place, a judgment on this kingdom, you know. Alright, so let me get Jeremiah. Um, 
so you have here North Korea, North Korea, they're going to be um, backed by Russia. You know, they're going to be that, Russia, they're going to be that, um, they're going to be the one that's going to shoot their bow, they're going to shoot their missiles at America. Um, so you have here, uh, North Korea tests fires missile as part of a mock nuclear attack. So these other countries, um, this was posted six hours ago. So you have these other countries that, you know, they're getting ready for a nuclear attack they're getting ready they're prepping for this so um you have a simulated tactical nuclear attack drill at the weekend with a mock atomic warhead attached to two large two long range cruise cruise missiles that were test test fire into the ocean um state control media reported on Sunday. All right so other countries, you know, especially North Korea, that is, you know, they're prepping, prepping their armies, prepping for the from um, for this, um, the different um, nuclears, you know, this nuclear, um, they're prepping the army for for these, um, this nuclear, um, this third world, World War Three, a firing drill or a firing drill for a stimulated tactical nuclear attack was conducting, conducted at dawn of September 2nd to warn the enemies of the ash of nuclear war danger. All right, so they're trying to put fear in America. Um, So North Korea is moving according to their own plan, which is to strike major military facilities on the Korean Peninsula and strike U.S. bases in Japan at the same time. Um, so America, so ultimately, uh, North Korea. Um, the key point is that North Korea is countering, countering South Korea and the United States with nuclear units rather than conventional weapons. So you can continue reading by ultimately America or North Korea will be that nation because it will be the other nation, right? Um, with Russia and you know that will ultimately be partaking in the destruction of America. You know, they will be the one that will shoot their bow and their arrows at America. Um so Jeremiah fifteen thirty nine. There, therefore, the wow. So this is after the America had been destroyed by ICBMs and has you know their places turned into a desert. Um, Jeremiah fifty verse thirty nine. Therefore, the wild beasts of the earth, where the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell therein, and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in the generation. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Right? So America is ultimately is going to become a breeding field for vultures. You know, vultures they feed on um, dead, you know, animals. They they feed on dead carcasses. Right? So America is going to be a breeding a breeding um, um, place for vultures. Right? Um, Forty verse as the most high. Overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbors neighbor city thereof, says the Lord Yahweh. So shall no man be abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell there. And right, so America is going to be overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah, and no one will inhabit America. Um, no one will, will inhabit America. 41 verse, Behold, a people shall come from the north in a great nation, nation, and making kings shall be raised up from coast, from the coast of the earth. So that great north, so that um, great nation is referring to Russia, right? And, you know, so that great nation is going to come against America. Um, 42 verse, verse, They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel. Mm -hmm. And will will not show mer show mercy, right? So they they shall hold the boat and the lance, 
they are cruel and will shot not show mercy on you know, these nations. They will not show mercy on you, who are going to shoot all their missiles. They're going to shoot everything at America, right? Because the Lord, you know, the Lord, He going to kindle His anger. He going to put His anger on these nations, right? He going to put His righteous anger on these nations to um, take down America. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Every one put an arrow. Array like a man to the battle get C O dollar of Babylon, which referring to America. Right, so I'm gonna get here, I'm going to Jeremiah fifty one and six. Babylon judge for sins against Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul, but so be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's Yahweh vengeance. Vengeance he will render unto her a recompense. All right, so you know this. You know, this is why we tell our people. You know when we teach. You know. We tell our people to repent, you know, and turn back and flee, spiritually flee and from the from Babylon, you know, get your mind out of Babylon, you know, stop, you know, worrying about rapping and stop worrying about trying to be rich. Stop worrying about trying to, you know, be somebody in this place, you know. Flee, spiritually flee. Uh, for you won't be partaking in her iniquity and partaking in her judgment judgment, you know, and you know, and you know, you don't want to, you don't, us, you don't, no one want to feel the wrath of Yahweh by Shah Shah. No one wants to feel the judgment of Yahweh by Shah Shah, right? So, this is why we tell our people not to, we tell our people to repent ultimately and not because if they don't, they're going to partake in. We already know that two thirds of our people is not going to repent, you know. It's only for the elect. The elect was the one that, the elect is the one that we're actually, you know, telling to repent. The, the elect is the one that's going to actually repent, right? Because the prophet saw that a remnant, a remnant should be saved, right? A elect will be saved. So we know there's an elect out there. Seven verse. Bab Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over her. Therefore, the nations are mad, right? Which turned to her philosophies, um, her doctrine, right? The nation... You know, the nation um, are mad, right? Because they have drunk on her doctrine and philosophy. Philosophy, they they say now that America is just a big, is a big melting pot. Um, America is a big melting pot. Um, and they see that America is deteriorating, right? They seen that America, you know, all America, just everything. They seen that, the, you know, the, their leaders, American leaders, you know, it's, not, it's no good. People, it's no good. Um, you know, so. Um, so America is a big, is a, is a melting pot, right? All the nations are, all the nations have drunken of her wine, which is going to match her philosophies. So. Uh, as we continue reading, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her take bomb of her pain, and so be she may be healed. Right, you know, ultimately she's not gonna be healed. So we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for our judgment reach it unto heaven and lift it up and up even to the sky. So this is gonna be the second time where we're to the sky how Babylon sins, her judgment has reached unto heaven. So ultimately it's prophesied that America will be destroyed. There's no question asked. You know, there's no question, there's nothing you can you can't find your way. You can't find your way out of it. Um, you can't find your way, you know, you can't try to, 
know, because scripture they they don't contradict each each other, right? The scripture are not contradict. Um, they're 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 not, you know, you know, there's nothing, you know, they're they're one hundred percent truth. So if, if scripture speaks about how her miracle sins have reached reached unto heaven, her judgment her, her judgment is gonna come, you know, her judgment is gonna be just pure. Pure anger, pure wrath, pure indignation is just gonna come um, on this planet. You know, gonna come on America. You know, we gonna have some other nations that might you know get destroyed, but the main judgment is gonna happen um, in America. Um, and it's lifted up even to the skies, right? Um, so, all right, I'm gonna close out here with Revelation. 15 and 18. Reads, Revelation chapter 15, verse 18, and there, and there were voices and thunders and lightning. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not seen man or right upon the earth, so mighty as an earthquake, so great, right? Again, the earthquake is going back to ICBMs, right? In this place. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nation fell. And great Babylon came in her before the Mosaji gave unto her the cup of the wine of the fairness of his wrath, right? So the, um, you know, the Yahweh watch on he. He, he he didn't he didn't forget you know the fornication the uh, spiritual form fornication the um you know what Babylon did to his people you know this been the place of captivity for you know, the nation of Israel I uh, mean Judah so called Negro you know Yahweh he 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 didn't forget that you know he didn't forget the um the different you know things America did to, um, you know, to, um, to make Jake, uh, the so-called Negroes mainly feel like second class citizens, you know, he, you know, God, my son, he, he's, he's, um, he's not, you know, he's not, he, he's, he's, he remembered, you know, he remembered all of that. 20 verse, and every island flooded away and the mountains were not found, right? So this is going back to that, you know, all every island mountain will move out, be moved out of the place. So, trust me, all these islands, they will be, um, you know, water will inhabit all these islands, you know, the ocean, they will be destroyed, right? All the different islands, right? And the mountains were not found, were not found, right? Um, you can go back to government, uh, governments, right? But, trust me, this is where you can also be referring to, um, it's also referring it's referring to um physical mountains, right? The different mountains in America, right? They will all be utterly utterly destroyed. Um so I'm gonna end it here. Oh, there's there's nothing else that I wanna bring out, you know. Brown Library thing, so that's me, you know. I'm gonna end it here. I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shabbat Shem, and to the next time I will say Shalom.